Oh, there is one other problem that I think I should mention. We don't have long. Soon Orion will be setting behind the rooftops of Whiteman Road, which is no good for me, and no good for taking a picture. So we need to be quick. That'll make it a little bit more steady. I'm putting some weights underneath it. Oh man, it's broken. Oh, what a pain. This is the thing that broke the tripod. I'm gonna fix it um, using some uh, metal strips. Should be an easy fix. And I'm gonna test it to see whether it can take the weight. See, I've got a metal, a metal brace in here. Oh, this is it. We are now going to do a weight test. And hopefully this time it's not gonna bugger up. So, please be fixed. Okay, so far so good. Of course we wanna weigh the tripod down as much as possible. So I've got this, which is a 11 pound weight. It's actually heavier than this one. Okay, good. And I'm gonna risk putting this on as well, another seven pound weight. Let's see if that holds. Okay, it does. Good. So just gotta wait for clear skies. It rained and it rained and it rained and it rained. This is getting a bit silly now. I got so bored waiting for the skies to clear that I made another video with the catchy title, Pimping Up Your Skywatcher Out As Go To Mount. In it, I describe how to strengthen the tripod, how to improve the focuser, tips on levelling the tripod, which is crucially important, and also the best way, in my opinion, to align the mount. Anyway, on with the show. Two weeks. Two weeks of cloud. I've been waiting two weeks to do this again after the mount broke. <laughs> We're level. This is it. This is it. The skies are clear. The sun is nearly set. Venus, would you believe, has come out. She's up there. But Venus is actually going to be a brilliant star to focus on. And she blows. Okay, let's zoom in a bit. I'd say that's the most in focus that I can get it. Oh wow, look, you can actually see the crescent on Venus. That's cute, isn't it? Oh, squeeze in. Okay, here's the controller. It's on a long lead. I don't want to be standing next to the, next to the mount. You see the mount there. I don't want to be standing next to it because of the wobbly roof. So I've got a ethernet cable, which uh, extends the controller here. So here I sh won't make the roof wobble too much. There she blows. Okay, this is it boys and girls. We're gonna find out whether this 80 pound telescope and mount, my 50 pound camera, and uh, the other little bits and fixes, whether it actually works. Okay, good luck everyone. Here we go. First thing, align the mount. I'll bring you along. What followed was an hour of geek hell. Mm, this isn't good. I'm not pressing anything. I'm now having power problems. Got to do the whole alignment procedure again. Dante's nerdy inferno. <sighs> oh, there's some plants in the way. Time's running out. Obviously, freaking limit. Jesus Christ. It's dark. There's not many clouds. The controller isn't working. And my computer's run out of disk space and my phone's run out of disk space as well. So I'll keep these short. I'm gonna fix the controller. I hope, otherwise we're buggered. Oh my gosh, sweet Mother Mary Mild. When will the pain end? When will it end? Okay, there's the phone. Here's the controller. Here's the cord. Stick him in. Turn on. Turns on. Now, if when I press enter it changes, Oh, it did. I think I might have fixed it. Begin alignment. Yes, we're gonna do it. First star it's given me is Sirius. She's there. She's low. I'm gonna go for Sirius. Okay, let's go. So now I've got to align the mount to two stars. Okay, Sirius is... Yep, Sirius is there. And if you'd watched my other video, you know that I can only do it using the up and the right key. Can't quite 
I see it. Is it in the middle? Is it in the middle? I think it's in the middle. Enter. Second star, Deneb. Deneb's no good. Hamal might be good. Is basically exactly the same as when Luke Skywalker had to blow up the Death Star with his photon torpedoes. Ah, <gasps> that must be Hamal. It's a similar level of skill required. Oh, it's gone a bit too far. It's drifting back. Okay, that's it. I'm centering it and our alignment has been successful. And we see little old Hamel there is now pretty much static. This is very, very good news. Apart from when I move, uh, when I move, Hamel wobbles around. Okay, next step, let's go to M42. So now I've got the alignment sorted. Should be relatively okay. Never say that. I'm, I've ruined it, haven't I, by saying that? So, thinks it's pointing to Orion. Can't see anything. I think the best thing to do, take a picture. Here we go, 30 seconds. You heard the click. 30 seconds, we'll see what we've got. This is the moment of truth. Everything we've done up until now, and we'll see if it's any good or not. This is a make or break time. Da, 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 da. Can we shoot deep space from London? for 150 quid or not.